Hello everyone. Hi, my name is Pishini from CPA Australia. Um, on behalf of Sunvitas and CPA Australia, thank you for joining in um, today as we go live. Um, today we have Sunvitas along with us as well, but what I'm going to be doing is that I'm going to be talking a bit about uh, the CPA Australia program. And of course, I have Michelle from Sunvitas that will be um, able to assist you in your questions in terms of tuitions and so forth, right? So um, let's not waste uh, much time. It's uh, 9 or 6. So uh, I hope you guys can see my slide. So I'm going to jump right straight into my slides. Right. So um, as I mentioned earlier, I'm going to be giving you a an overview about the CPA program and uh, most of the basic information that you will need to know about the program. Right. Now, um, what you can see in front of you is some of the common questions that um, we usually get, you know, in terms of uh, the CPA Australia designation. So the first one, you know, is it only recognized in Australia? Having said that the word, um, I mean, the designation is called CP Australia. A lot of people think that the designation is only recognized in Australia. Nope, that is wrong. So the CP, uh, the CP Australia designation is a global re uh, designation. So it is definitely globally recognized, right? And another famous uh, question that people usually ask, you know, is the designation or the qualification is only limited to a Australian university degree. So maybe, you know, you studied in Australian university, um, you know, uh, a lot of them think that, you know, only they are able to take up the qualification. So no, that is definitely uh, wrong as well. The CPA program is open to all um I mean, students from, you know, various different type of university, UK university, Malaysian public university, private university, and so forth. So it is not limited to a student with an Australian degree. Okay. And in fact, the second, the third question, you know, do I need an accounting degree to pursue the CPA program? Not necessarily, right? Now, the CPA program is open to anyone as long as you have a degree doesn't matter from what background, right? So, um, of course, if you come from an accounting background, uh, it is pretty straightforward in terms of exemptions. But if you do not, if you do not come from an accounting background, let's say if you come from a law background or you or you come from an economics background, you are still able to take up the CPA program. It is just that depending on your um, field of studies and based on what you have completed in university you may then require to complete some foundation level papers. That's all, right? So it is not limited to the uh, to students with accounting degree only, right? Now, is this only for accountants? Not necessarily as well. So that is where uh, the uniqueness of the CPA program stands because uh, we have members or candidates who are not only accountants. We have people, you know, in the field of engineering, um, lawyers for that matter, and of course, various other fields as well, right? Now, CPA versus MBA. Most of you all may not know that the CPA program is actually benchmarked at a postgraduate level, right? So in the Australian uh, qualification framework, we are actually benchmarked at AQF8, right? So the program is actually uh, deemed at a postgraduate level meaning our subject syllabus, our content, and so forth are a bit more different as uh, compared to the other things that you know, right? So I'm going to move on to my next slide. So who is CPA Australia? So this will give you a quick insight about our establishment globally. So uh, as of uh, 2019, we have, uh, 2020, sorry, we had um, more than 166,000 members across the globe. Right. And um, CP Australia has been in operation globally for more than 133 years. OK, now 130 years in operation. It's a long time. So that gives the brand um, solidity in terms of our existence in the industry. Right. And of course, in terms of recognition, we are definitely there as well. So what you see in front of you is our core member services. Of course, we have um, education, training, advocacy, 
and also technical support, right? Now let's look at our global network. So what you see in front of you is our offices and branch location, which is the tiny yellow dots on the map, right? And if you were to see our member presence in the dark blue shaded on the map. So what you can see here is that we have a great, um, you know, um, presence across the globe in terms of our members. So again, I would like you like you to know that, you know, the CPA designation is a global designation. It is as recognized as, you know, some of the other qualification that you may know, right? So again, you know, uh, please feel free to leave me any questions that you may potentially have uh, in the uh, comment section, and we'll be more than happy to address those questions later on. So uh, what you see also see in front of you is some of our recognized employer partners. Uh, of course, globally, we have more than 400 plus uh, recognized employer partners. This is just a quick snapshot uh, in terms of some of the partners that we work uh, closely in Malaysia, right? And these are also some of the partnership agreements that CP Australia has with uh, other professional bodies uh, globally as well, okay? Now, CP Australia's presence in Malaysia, yes, we have been in Malaysia for more than 60 years. Uh, this has always been a su uh, surprising fact to a lot of people. So yes, guys, we've been in Malaysia for more than 60 years, okay? And we have more than 10,000 members uh, across Malaysia. And um, we also have more than 2,000 um, associate members. So associate members are you know, students or candidates who are currently pursuing the CPA program, okay? Now let's quickly dive into some of the uh, elements that I would like to emphasize today. Now, talking about the role of um, emerging accountants, you know, uh, what we know these days, you know, accountants are looked at in a very different way. You know, it is not your typical accountant. Like back then when we used to say accountant, you know, it would be just like boring, you know, bookkeeping, you know, number crunches, you know, all you see is numbers, right? Now, um, you know, professional accountants, are they are less involved in traditional accounting and they are more concerned with leadership and management. If you were to see some of our leaders, I'm sure most of y'all would have met, you know, from the firms and so forth, you know, they're very dynamic people, right? They're not your typical accountant, right? Because today's accountants, they provide key support to the senior management, right? And they are directly involved in important decisions, okay? And accountants these days, they are actually business advisors, right? Because you understand the numbers, you understand, you know, the fact of what you are reporting. And this is where you contribute by being business advisors rather than, you know, your typical number crunches who just, you know, does your report and, you know, let it go, right? So the reason why I'm also emphasizing on this is because um, various of these elements are actually incorporated in the CPA program, okay? Now, what does it mean to become a CPA? As I mentioned and have been mentioning, um, it is a internationally recognized designation, all right? And um, being a CPA definitely marks a high professional competence, right? It indicates, uh, you know, depth, breadth, and quality in terms of accountancy knowledge. And of course, we are also widely regarded by employers and members, okay? Now, let's jump into the application. How does CPA Australia work? All our applications are actually, uh, I mean, you need to submit your application online, right? Now, if you come from an accounting background, let's say you have a degree in accounting, all you need to do is submit your application online, right? And of course, we have the foundation level. For those who have, uh, for those who come from an accounting background, if you fit the requirement, you will be granted exemptions from the foundation level. So, for an instance, if you're granted exemption from the foundation level, then you will get the associate membership outcome, right? So the moment you get your associate membership outcome, you are able to enroll and start your professional papers, okay? So once you enroll in the CPA program, you complete your program, and of course, uh, we will need your degree, and also concurrently, you will need to complete your work experience requirement. Once you have done that, 
your CPA. So it's very straightforward, very simple, not tedious, um, very, very easy. Okay. Let's go on to the next slide. Okay, so uh, this is a quick overview about our foundation exams. Uh, for those of you all who do not come from an accounting background, um, as you can see in front of you, some of the foundation exams that are here, actually all of them are here, there are a total of six foundation exams. So if you come from an accounting uh, background and if you come from an accredited university, it is highly likely straightforward that you'll be exempted from the six foundation papers. If you do not come from an accounting background, <coughs> if you come from a different major or a different field, they're highly likely there are some foundation papers that you will need to complete first before you start on your CPA professional uh, level papers, right? And uh, the, the most interesting thing about the foundation papers, they're all MCQ, all right, uh, multiple choice, uh, computer-based exams. And these are based on on demand, so you don't have to wait by semester, like for the CPA program. For the foundation level, it's on on demand exam. So as long as you sign up, you're able to take the exams anytime, right? Of course, you have to schedule them. And um, yes, there's a time limit to it. If you sign up for a paper, you are given 12 months to actually complete the particular paper, right? One paper. Now, why the CPA program? Um, earlier, we spoke about the emerging roles of accountants these days, right? Now, why the CPA program? Because the program is very dynamic, all right? What we emphasize is that we integrate education and experience, all right? And we also use contemporary and internationally relevant materials in our teaching. So whatever that you're going to study with CPA Australia, the, the, the textbook that you're going to you know, be using for your semester, those elements will have, you know, things that you can relate to. You know, they are, they are not something that you're going to read and go like, ooh, okay, I don't see it happening anywhere close to me. <clears throat> and also this contents that you are learning, you are actually able to apply your learning at your workplace, right? So I think that is very, very important rather than studying something that, you know, you're not going to be able to relate with, right? Now, uh, another thing that stands out about the CPA program is the flexibility. So it's totally up to you. How do you want to study? Of course, you have the self-study, you have the part-time, you have the full-time, uh, which is made available. And um, of course, in Sunway Test, uh, there is a part-time and a full-time option for you to choose from. Okay. And um, I would say that uh, this is one of the greatest plus point, plus point for the CPA program is because of the flexible study option. Right. And um, nothing beats this, which is a subject syllabus. Uh, we are very geared towards business strategy and leadership skills as well. Right. Now, um, it is a professional qualification. Uh, CPA program is a professional body. Yes, there are technical elements in our papers. We can't run away from that. But beyond that, we also have incorporated these elements in our professional papers. Why? We are talking about, you know, everything emerging. We are talking about, you know, how to equip ourselves to, you know, remain uh, relevant in the industry. And we all know, you know, just being technically sound is not going to keep you ahead every single time. Technical knowledge is very, very important. That is your basis, right? That's why you have your degree. But then comes the additional, um, you know, elements that will be helpful to you as you start on your career or if you're working at this point of time, these elements that we have incorporated in our study materials will be very, very helpful, okay? And I mentioned earlier, we are beyond numbers, all right? We do teach you the technical skills, but we also teach you the other important elements to help you in the current situation, okay? I'm not sure if you're able to hear this video, but let me just try. No, it's okay. The video is not playing. Um, let's ignore that video. That's a quick uh, testimonial of some of our members, uh, current students who are sharing the experience. So what you see in front of you is the CPA program subjects, okay? Um, in total, there are six professional level papers for you to complete, right? And um, some of you all may be wondering, huh, six papers? Yes, you have six papers to complete. Don't worry so much about that. 
And um, in a year, there are two semesters in a year for the CPA program. Like for 2021, our first semester will commence in January 2021 right and um, of course the semester second semester will be in july somewhere in july right and um, on the other hand you're given two weeks uh, exam window which is that uh, you can choose either dates that will suit you the date the time the location is totally up to you okay and um yes it's a computer-based exam there is a mix of um mcq which is objective questions and short uh responses and yes, it's an open book exam, um, but be mindful. Although it's an open book exam, it is not a time for you to actually, you know, start looking for things during your exam days. No, no, definitely no. The reason why the study guide is actually uh, available to you or why you're able to carry it into the exam room is for you to make references right so you can you know ensure that you do proper indexing you know make sure all the things that you think are important are you know correctly indexed so you're able to make reference so the whole idea is for you to make reference we do not expect you to memorize and vomit right it is for you to you know have a point of reference that is the idea of an open book exam okay now, um, what you see in front of you is the four compulsory subject. These are the four core compulsory subject. Of course, we have ethics and governance, strategic management, accounting, financial reporting, and global strategy and leadership, right? Global strategy and leadership is our capstone paper, meaning um, usually students will take this paper at the end. Um, but if you want to take it earlier, you can but you need to complete the three core papers first before you take global strategy and leadership, right? So that means you have to take ethics and governance, uh, strategic management accounting, financial reporting. Once you have completed these three, then you can go on to take global strategy and leadership. Right, another reason why a lot of them would like to complete probably all the five papers and take global strategy and leadership is because the elements that they have learned from all the other five papers will be incorporated in this particular capstone paper. So all the knowledge that you have gained from the other papers can be utilized in, in this particular capstone paper, okay? Other than that, there is no uh, sequencing in terms of, you know, this paper should be taken first. No, there's no such thing, okay? <clears throat> and what you see here is your elective subjects. So there are four core papers plus two elective subjects. So, um, of course, uh, at this point of time, Malaysian taxation is actually offered uh, by uh, Sunway Tax. So, Sunway Tax actually manage and offer uh, the Malaysian tax subject, right? Now, once you take the Malaysian tax subject with Sunway Tax, once you've completed it, once you have passed the paper, you will just need to send an update to CPU Australia. And once you send an update, we grant you an exemption from that particular paper. Right. So that will probably leave you another, you know, whichever remaining papers that you have. OK, but this particular paper is to be taken with Sunway test. On the other hand, these are the other elective subjects that we have that you can choose from. Um, one of my favorite subjects is a contemporary business issue. Why I say CP Australia is very different. And I think, you know, we are very current in our content. Right. I think we're pretty unbeatable. Uh, Everything is very up to date. So if you talk about contemporary business issue, this particular uh, this particular subject actually covers um, elements like you know cryptocurrency, Bitcoin, uh, uh, machine learning, and so forth. So all current uh, technology or you know whatever that is revolving within the industry is actually covered within this particular subject, right? So it's totally up to you. Uh, which subject you would like to take as an elective. Uh, but usually what I notice with some of our students is that, you know, they want to take something that's a bit more different. Um, so some of them take financial risk management and contemporary business issues. So it's, it's, again, it is totally up to you, okay? But just bear in mind, for those of you all who have actually uh, completed audit and tax in your undergraduate level, right? You have done audit and tax in your undergraduate degree you are free to choose any elective subjects you would like to take, right? <clears throat> 
For those who have not completed audit and tax in your undergraduate degree, it becomes compulsory in your CPA program. So you won't be able to choose, right? You will, it will be made compulsory that you have to take uh, audit and tax, okay? Now, we also have an interesting pathway <clears throat> for those of you all or who are tuning in today. If you know anyone who will qualify uh, within this pathway, you may please feel free to also inform them about this, right? So, we have a pathway with Malaysian Institute of Accountants, right? Pathway one. Um, if you have a um, 10 years of full membership with MIA and, of course, 10 years of relevant work experience, um, definitely a recognized degree, you will only need to complete three professional papers within CP Australia. So if you have 10 years of membership with MIA and 10 years of relevant work experience with a uh, recognized university degree, you will only need to complete three papers. Now, there's another pathway, which is pathway two. If you are a full member, uh, at least five years of membership with MIA and five years of relevant work experience and hold a recognized uh, university degree. Now, um, ignore the part where it says Australian Government Department of Education. Okay, look, as long as uh, you're in Malaysia, if you're studied in a public university or private university, it is still recognized, all right? So uh, that will go for further assessment. So for those of you all who have this particular pathway, you will only need to complete four professional level papers. So pathway one is three papers. Pathway two is four papers. Okay. Very interesting one. I've covered this earlier in terms of the uh, flexible study option. Now, let's talk more about the CPA program and the kind of support that we actually provide to our candidates, right? Now, uh, the CPA program model is a bit more different. So it started on as a self-study model, right? Of course, now we have uh, tuition support, like with Sunway Test. But besides your tuition support, that is going to be there if you're going to opt for it. On the other hand, we also have you covered with all the additional resources that we provide our students with, right? So, of course, we have uh, semester preparation videos, model quizzes, downloadable study notes, uh, weekly recorded webinars, uh, they are meet and end semester tests, everybody loves tests, and of course, exam preparation advice, right? Now, all these are made available within your online learning platform, okay? Now, um, don't be afraid. Uh, a lot of people tend to wonder, you know, how do I study? You know, how am I going to study online? You know, for those of you all who are going for classes, you actually have additional support. You have someone guiding you, you know, teaching you how to go about the program. And at the same time, you have all these additional resources made available to you, right? So what you see in front of you is a little timeline in terms of when our enrollment opens and so forth. So our enrollments actually open on 16th of November, all right? and our semester will start officially <coughs> on 25th of November. Now, the moment you enroll into the CPA program, the first thing that happens is that you receive your soft copy study guide, right? So you can start studying, right? Um, of course, uh, this, the, the course book, which is your study guide, will actually arrive directly from Australia, right? So you will have a PDF uh, guide, right? You will have your hard copy study guide, and now you will also have your ebook, of the study guide. So the whole idea of this learning uh, framework is to create and to cater to different learning needs. You know, some of us, we like to watch videos. Some of us write, like to read books. You know, whichever way that suits you, all the support are actually made available to you, right? Now, um, sometimes when you have too many things going on, when you have too many resources, that can also be confusing, correct? You know, you, you have so many resources on your platform, you'll be like, okay, uh, which one should I use, right? Usually, we do not have such a support, right? You know, you, you, we just look at the resources and we try to utilize whichever that we think is relevant for us. But don't worry so much about that because for CP Australia, um, the method that we use is actually called guided learning, right? 
So uh, guided learning is pretty much um, us, our partners, assisting our students in terms of uh, guiding them how to study, what to study, and what are the steps, right? This is made available to our students the moment they enroll, right? So we will tell you which resources to use at which point of your study. Now, this is the guided learning experience that we uh, expose our students to. So it's a step-by-step. -step. Uh, we actually tell you at this particular juncture what you should be using, what are the resources you need to use to be able to enhance your understanding and the process of your, um, I mean, learning in terms of achieving the semester, okay? So don't worry so much about it. And I would say that this is one of the reasons why our candidates do very well in their exams because we do not leave them in a dark room. We actually, besides giving them that, you know, that, that resources that we provide them with, we also guide them in terms of, you know, breaking it down to them. For an example, when you open your study guide, the first thing that you will see is a table. For an example, let's take ethics and governance. It will say module one, what is the weightage that we will test you in your exam? So you can plan your study based on the weightage. You know, you don't have to give you know equal emphasis on the whole book. So you know how to study smartly, right? And we also tell you module one should be completed in which week. So if the semester has starts, let's say module one, it will indicate week one to week two, module one should be completed. All right. So all your learning resources will coincide or will be diving together. And when you see uh, in terms of the weekly webinars, it will be matching this table as well. So don't worry, you don't have to panic how it's going to work and all that. Everything is very, very structured. <clears throat> um, so this is uh, some of our um, associate member testimonials. So uh, these are the students who are currently pursuing the CPA program, right? Uh, some of them are pursuing it on a full-time basis. Some of them are young working professionals. Some of them have been working for a very long time. So um, Ashikin actually shares he, her um, take on the online learning um, that she has experienced. So she is a fan of our online learning resources. In fact, she likes to do demo for her friends and so forth. So she found the online learning to be extremely helpful to her, right? So take it from our own student who has uh, had her own experience. And of course, uh, she's got a uh, high distinction for her first exam seating, okay? Uh, these are some of our other high achievers. Of course, we have uh, Sini. Sini scored a uh, three high distinction <coughs> in her exam seating uh, for semester one, 2020. Um, she's got three high distinction in one exam seating. So she technically took three papers. Right, Sini is a student of uh, Sunway Test who is pursuing the program on a full time basis. Right, and of course, we have our other uh, members. Uh, Bing Zhuan is currently with KPMG Malaysia. She graduated uh, with five high distinction and one distinction in her CPA program. And of course, uh, we have Chris Min. Um, she also graduated from the CPA program with five high distinction and one distinction. Right, so. It is not impossible, it is definitely possible. And um, it is not true that the CPA program is easy. Um, that is not the reason why these students did very well. They actually put in a lot of hard work, a lot of hard work. And what I came to find out from them is that uh, the way you study and how they actually fully utilize the online resources. Look, if the resources are made available to you and if you don't utilize them, you're going to be on the losing end, right? So if you really want to do well in the papers, just make sure you focus on every single element that are given to you. Let's move on to the next one. So you don't need to be working to start the CPA program. Nope, you only need to ensure that uh, you have a degree, right? <clears throat> you, can study, you can study from anywhere in the world, it is totally up to you. If you're not in Malaysia, if you are returning back to your country, you can still pursue the program. Um, it's a computer-based exam, so hence why 
uh, we said that you can study anywhere and there's an option of self-study as well. And the average time to complete the CPA program is about three to four years, right? Um, having said we have two semesters in a year, so you will technically, technically take about three to four years, again, depending on how you want to study. But if you were to enroll with Sunway Tess, uh, you can actually complete the program on a full-time basis in 12 months. Okay, that is like the fastest. 12 months to complete all six papers, right? Now, um, for those of you all who are probably working, you may be wondering, okay, look, you know, I'm working and I'm going to enroll for these papers. How long should I put, you know, in terms of time when it comes to studying? Nothing much. It is just... 10 to 15 hours a week, a week, you know, 10 to 15 hours a week. Not so bad, trust me. If you just follow all this, you will do very well in the exam. A lot of time, um, the reason why it, it's a failure because, you know, you start trying to study two weeks before the exam, three weeks before the exam. I mean, some of them do it, but uh, it may not work for everyone, right? So just to be safe, start preparing earlier. And uh, for CP Australia, while pursuing the program, you are actually able to use the designation ASA, all right? So you can use the designation as ASA and people will know it's that you are in a process of pursuing the CPA program. <clears throat> um, these are some of the elements of the work experience requirement. Um, of course, these elements must be fulfilled. Um, if you have uh, not started working, don't worry. You can, if you, I mean, while you're doing the program, you can accumulate your experience. Um, for those of y'all who has been working, so uh, you need to fulfill three years of work experience. If you have been working, right, more than three years, and if you have the relevant work experience as stated, that will also be considered when you are submitting your work experience requirement, all right? We will not need you to uh, start uh, the work experience requirement as you embark into the CPA program, no. If you have prior work experience, we will also, uh, you no, you are also able to uh, submit them. So these are some of the uh, benefits uh, for our members. Of course, the ample of online, CPA Australia is all about digitalization. We are all about technology. So, you know, having said we have COVID, not many of us can go out, you know, depending their CMCU, they will lock down, you know, but that doesn't mean it stops there. We still have our professional development uh, courses made available for our members, available online. There were ample of webinars. Of course, face-to-face, uh, -face, we couldn't have it at this point of time. Um, but I think that is something that we were prepared for. And I think one of the greatest thing is that we have complimentary professional training courses for you as well. So you have up to 44.5 hours of free trainings that you can just sign up and, you know, just sit down at your comfort, um, listen. And, you know, there are videos, there are webinars. You can just sign up for any one of them in accordance to, you know, your preferred time and so forth. Right. So there are a lot of stuff that we actually give our members. Um, I think this is also a very important element when considering a professional qualification because uh, you're going to be you know, part of that professional body. And I think it is important to know how the professional body will be able to support your development and your uh, career growth as well. Um, this is some of our uh, digitalized uh, magazine and flip books. Um, of course, we have our very own magazine, which is called In the Black. We have gone fully digital uh, with our magazine. And of course, we have various different uh, topics made available, which you can um, access. As you can see here, you know, there's something called Future of Digital Money. You know, how does blockchain work? You know, Accounting's uh, Brave New Blockchain Frontier. So there are so many things made available. And if you were to see the topics, they are so current and relevant, right? So, you know, grab the opportunity. You can actually go to our uh, In The Black magazine and have a look at it. It is actually made available. Um, um, yes, podcast. So, you know, when you talk about CPA Australia, we have so many things going on from webinars, podcasts, you know, 
gathering people from the industry. Like recently, we had a global congress. So we had a virtual congress. Uh, it was an amazing thing. We had, you know, interesting speakers from across the world. You know, I'm not sure whether you all know George Clooney. So George Clooney is a famous um, uh, Hollywood actor. He is my uh, Prince Charming. His wife, Amal Clooney, was invited as a speaker in this particular section as well. Sorry for that. Ignore my dogs. So yeah, and of course we are on YouTube as well. Um, you can check us out. There are ample information for you as well there. And yes, again, look, tons of tons of information made available for you, right? So please feel free to browse through. We have our online resources. We have the CPA library. So you'll never run out with uh, resources when it comes to CPU Australia, that's for sure. All right, so these are some of the member benefits for our Malaysian members. So if you are a member, you know, you'll probably get a discount when you want to buy your first BM or, you know, if you want to buy a mini and uh, so forth, right? So these are some of the uh, member benefits. And of course, being in the Malaysian division, uh, you will personally get a uh, Malaysian centric uh, update in terms of uh, what has been happening and so forth. So uh, we are constantly in reach with our members in terms of changes, in terms of, you know, advising or in terms of providing you with the most up to date information. All right, so let's talk about some key information. As I mentioned, uh, the enrollment for CP Australia opened on 16th of November, right? Um, for those of you all who have actually joined the session today, there is, some, uh, there is a um, interesting promo that we are actually giving out today. <coughs> now, uh, our subject on Romans, as I mentioned earlier, has already opened. But just keep a mind on 13th of January because that's where the early bird rate closes, right? So for those of you all who have not submitted your application, please, please, please go to our website, cpustralia.com.au click on the button apply now and start submitting your application first because it will take a while to actually assess your application right and um, the reason why i'm saying that because if you're interested to enroll for semester one 2021 and you want to be able to save some money then you may want to meet the early bird uh deadline right so early bird is a different rate okay so uh officially the semester will commence on 25th of january um, but for Sunway test, their classes will start probably a week earlier, maybe. Uh, Michelle will share a bit more later on. And of course, your exam period for semester 1, 2021 will be from 7 till 25th of April, not the whole stretch. You have an option to choose a date from 7 till 25th of April, whichever that fits you. Okay. And I think what is uh, very interesting again. Um, Having said, uh, with the current situation that we all are facing, some of us are not comfortable going to a test center to take the exam. So CP Australia has, again, in a very short time, um, came out with another exam option. So we have the test center exams, right? You can opt to go to a test center and take your exams. If you're not comfortable going to a test center or you know, if there could be a potential lockdown, in your current location and you're not able to go to a test center you are actually able to take the exams online at home right so it's called an online proctored exam of course there are requirements there are criteria to this there are security checks uh, you need to make sure you have the sufficient technology you know webcam mic you know your room settings there cannot be people walking back behind you or people talking to you and you are doing the exams but all those information are made available but again this is to ensure that our candidates our members you know our students are comfortable and we have given that option to our candidates so either you want to go to a test center if you're not going if you're not comfortable going to a test center you can take it at home right so um let's talk about some money Right. Of course, uh, the application fees. Uh, to submit your application, there's a fees that we charge 530 ringgit. But don't worry. For those of y'all who are tuning in today, I'm going to share a little QR code later. So what you can do is just scan the QR code and fill up your information. 
and we will send you a promo code to actually waive that application fees worth 530 ringgit, right? Now, um, this is the foundation uh, subject enrollment fees. So it is 1030 inclusive of your exam fees. Now, for the CPA program, each subject is 2,500 bucks. Don't get scared. The 2,500 bucks actually includes your exam fees, your study guide, uh, study guide. I mean, we call it textbook, but uh, in CPA Australia, we call it study guide, uh, which comes directly from Australia. And all that resources that I mentioned to you earlier, all that is given to you in this particular fees, right? So it is one fees that incorporates every single thing. So you don't have to pay me 2005 and then for resources, you have to additionally uh, pay and then probably for exam fees, you have to pay a different fees. No. So you pay 2005 for that subject and it incorporates every single thing. Okay. And uh, for CP Australia, we do not charge exemption fees. Remember, we were speaking about exemptions. So if you're granted exemptions from the foundation level, we will not charge you exemption fees. So there is no such thing as exemption fees, all right? The moment you get exempted, you just proceed, you enroll into your subject, you activate your membership fees, and you're good to go, right? Very, very simple. And uh, of course, uh, for those of y'all uh, who may be aware, uh, this is actually extended to our fellow uh, Bumi friends. Um, we have the Yayasan Punaraju uh, Scholarship. Uh, I'm sure some of y'all who have actually heard of it. So for those of y'all who are looking for um, scholarship, uh, please feel free to visit Yayasan Punaraju's website. There are a few different type of programs that they are offering. Um, please have a look at which will be a fit for you. I'm sure uh, <clears throat> uh, Sanvitas may be able to share some of the information as she comes on board shortly. So what's next? Very easy. As I mentioned earlier, complete your online membership of, uh, application. <clears throat> Receive your con uh, confirmation within 10 working days. And once you receive your assessment outcome, you just need to activate your membership and go ahead and enroll into the subject that you would like to, okay? So this is how uh, the platform will look like. So this is the website that you should go to to apply for, um, I mean, to submit your application. If you don't have an account, please create one. If you have, sorry. So if you already have, sorry guys. That doesn't help when you have three dogs at home. Just give, just give me a while. So, so sorry about that. <laughs> it is funny. You know, working from home has been really tough. And having, you know, my pets around has been really challenging. But anyway, thank God we're coming to an end. So this is the page where you go and apply for your membership. If you don't have an account, please create one. If you already have an account, just go ahead and sign into your account, right? And submit your application. So this is how it will actually look like. So you'll just need to go by stages and ensure everything is complete and filled, right? Okay, so I was mentioning earlier, uh, for those of you all who are tuning in today, I will share this particular link in the comment section later. But for those of you all who are interested to submit your application and would like to receive a waiver, which is a lot of money, it is 530 ringgit that we will be uh, waving off for your application. Please feel free to scan this particular code. Um, we'll be more than happy to send you an email of the promo code, right? So I'm just going to leave it on for a few seconds. Um, for those of you all uh, who would like the link, we will share it out shortly. And yes, uh, these are my contact details. If you would like to find out more about um, CP Australia, the program, the subjects, timelines, dates, and so forth, please feel free to reach out to me. I'll be more than happy to um, assist you. Other than that, I am actually done for the day. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'm going to bring on board uh, Michelle to actually share a few words 
in terms of when are the classes starting with Sunway test, you know, um, and so forth, right? Thank you very much. Hi, Prish. Thank you so much for the sharing. There's so many things that, you know, uh, CPA Australia indeed prepared for students to prepare uh, for the exam. Well done. Thanks, Michelle. Yeah, so um, about some test classes, yes, we have already opened for enrollment. Um, so feel free to drop by and your email to us. Uh, and um, for full-time classes, starting date will be on the 18th of January. And the part-time is actually on the uh, 16th of January. Yeah. So I actually saw um, from the comment side, uh, there's this question from uh, Simran. Um, Simran asking about, explain more detail for full-time students. Okay. Basically, okay, due to this current situation, the COVID situation, um, Simran, I understand that you are actually from outstation, right? So we are basically uh, will run the classes uh, in hybrid mode, which means uh, the face-to-face -face or the in-campus classes and the online classes will actually run concurrently at the same time. So meaning to say, for example, ethics and governance class on Monday, for example, 9 a.m. So the same timing, you can attend class at home and those students who choose to come into campus, 9 a.m. in the campus, in the venue. Okay, um, are you clear with that? Uh, I think, Simran, just to add on, yeah, I think this has actually been a good opportunity, Michelle, to add on because uh, before this, you know, for students who wanted to come for class, they had to physically come. Now with the online option made available, you know, if you're not in KL, it doesn't matter. You can actually take the class, you know, whether you're in Kedah, Sinto, or, you know, Perlis, or, you know, JB, or Kluang, or Del it doesn't matter anymore. You can still join the class. It's a Sunway test. So I think that's definitely a plus point. Exactly. So, um, and for the... Um you know, for notes wise and quizzes wise, we will actually do it uh, online as well so that it is uh, for benefits for both online students and also our uh, students who come in for the physical classes. Yeah. So don't worry for the online students, we will never miss you out. Okay. <laughs> and as for the part-time student, we will run fully 100% uh, online class. Uh, reason being, at this point of time, um, we are not allowed to have too many students uh, in the campus. So therefore, uh, at this point of time, this will be our, uh, you know, uh, delivery mode for our part-time students. Yeah, <laughs> fully online. Okay. So um, the next question I actually see from the floor is... Um, if I go CPA website and select enroll now, and it will be signed up to be and separately. Okay, yes, it is two different registration. So, uh, uh, just to step in, uh, <clears throat> Ash, uh, I think what you need to do first, uh, you will need to go online to the website link that I showed earlier, which is cpaustralia.com.au slash apply. Submit your application first to CPA Australia because once you submit your application with CP Australia, then you get your assessment outcome. Only with that, Sunway Test will be able to know what are the subjects that you can take and so forth. Because for an instance, if you were to get a foundation outcome, then it is worthless of you registering because you'll be stuck. And Sunway Test won't be able to assist you with that as well. So you will need to go to the CPA website, make sure you submit your application, once you've submitted your application, received your outcome, then quickly connect to Michelle and enroll for the subjects that you want to. That is the best thing for you to do. So Ash, if you are really interested, please quickly submit your application. 
I did share my contact number earlier. If you have any more questions, please feel free to reach out to me. Hurry, hurry. We're on the 22nd of December. <laughs> A lot of people are in holiday mode. So, you know, we need to get questions. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> okay. So yes. Um. Since our classes is starting, uh, in the second week of um January, so the deadline for Sawi Test classes registration is actually, uh, will close on by 9th of January. Of course, we will still open slightly. You know, uh, a few days after for the registration if you have uh, received your assessment outcome uh, you know not on time but you still always feel free to contact us uh, you know on this uh, registration you are always be able to to assist yeah okay so how many papers for part-time students to take for each semester okay for part-time students, if you are working students, then we will encourage you to take one subject per semester. Okay? Knowing that work and study at the same time may not be an easy task. Yeah? So, we would rather you um, to pass smoothly. Yeah? So, um, and by the way, CPA will give the candidates six years to, to complete the exams, right? Prish, would you like to add on on this? Uh... Yes. Okay, uh, so uh, this is what we usually tell everyone, uh, Weiji, uh, if you are studying and uh, you are working, um, again, you know, again, as you mentioned earlier, it's totally up to you, but our best advice is one paper per semester. That is manageable. But if you think, uh, you know, probably there's a period where you are not so busy, and you know you think you can do it, then again it's up to you. But again, if you were to ask me or Michelle, our best advice to you will be one paper per semester. I mean, look, we want you to have a life too, you know. <laughs> so you know you have work going on, you have your professional papers going on, and then you know you come lifeless. No, that's not what we want. Uh, so please have a life. So as much as possible, you please feel free to take one paper. But if you think you want to do more, again, up to you. Yeah. So, Prish, um, I actually get questions from students. The six years um, of timeline to complete the papers, mm -hmm. when does it start? So, it actually starts the moment you activate your associate membership. Um, right? The moment you activate your membership, the clock starts ticking. Right. But um, of course, uh, there has been situation that uh, some of them are not able to complete in accordance to the timeline. You know, sometimes it can be uh, family issues, financial issues, uh, health issues for that matter, work issues. Look, uh, we are open to uh, a plea. That means, you know, if you have a reasonable reason, you can definitely send in a, a, a request or an appeal. Of course, this is actually looked uh, uh, within a committee. There's actually a committee that sits and review this. So again, uh, it really depends. But of course, if you're in such circumstances, please feel free to reach out to us. We'll see how we'll be able to help you. But yeah, so the moment you activate your membership, it's ticking. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. So um, maybe say if a student has to do foundation paper, that does mm -hmm. not count yet until he or she passed the foundation and started the ASA membership. Correct. So foundation is not taken into uh, consideration. So once they complete the foundation level, uh, they will then progress to the professional level papers. Earlier you heard my dog, now you hear my cuckoo clock. <laughs> Sorry. Your house is full of... I know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yes. let's move on to the next question. Um, I think this is for you, Prish. Jasmine, I've just applied for the CPA membership yesterday. Is it possible for me to waive out the application fees of 530? Uh, Jasmine, I hope you have my contact details, right? Uh, 
please be in touch with me. Uh, if you don't mind, can you share uh, which university did you graduate from? Because there's actually a term in terms of using the promo code, right? So uh, you give you a promo code, you need to uh, submit your application. And of course, you will need to activate your membership. Nothing is for free. <laughs> so Jasmine, uh, don't worry so much, Jasmine. Uh, I hope you have my number. Um, or else, Michelle, can we get someone to actually post out our numbers in the yeah. comment box? Or, yeah, get someone to do that. Yeah. Mm. Ta-da. Ta -da. Okay, email will do as well. It doesn't matter. Just drop me a quick email and I'll get back to you ASAP. Right, Jasmine? Yeah. Thank you very much, Jasmine, for submitting your application fast. <laughs> Expect <laughs> some delay. Yes. Any other question? Full-time students is uh, It's a very, very tricky question. Well, uh, maybe I'll go first, uh, Michelle, on your behalf. Uh, for full-time yeah. students, yeah. again, uh, Yi King, uh, I would say that uh, the CPA program and Sunway Test is all about flexibility again, right? But we do have students taking three subjects per semester, right? They may be a student taking three subjects per semester. They may be another student probably taking two subjects per semester, right? So it is really dependent on you. But the whole idea of the full-time model is to complete the papers fast. So the origination of the whole idea was to complete three papers each semester. So, you know, you're done with your professional papers and you move on with life, you know. So, but again, it is up to you. There is no better because, uh, Yi King, you know, your needs may be different. Your situation may be different. You know, if you think you really want to go on with it and just want to complete the papers first, then my best advice to you is three papers. If you feel unsure, it might be too heavy for you, then go with two papers or three papers. It's totally up to you, right? Engage based on your ability. If you think it's too much, just go for two papers. You know, don't try going for three papers and then you get frustrated. That's not what we want as well. Okay? Yep. Any other questions, Michelle? Ah, we got a lot of questions yeah. today. We thought, no, we, we thought everybody is on leave. Oh, okay. So Jasmine, I uh, need to email you after this Facebook live. Thank you so much. Okay. Yes, Jasmine, uh, good to know you're from Monash. So it will be pretty straightforward. You should be granted exemptions from the foundation level. So uh, do a quick email to me, capture my email address, do write to me quickly. I will monitor your application and then uh, I will advise you on the process of what to do for the refund. Okay. How to claim exemption for mm. so Trish? Mm. How can you uh, more how to claim for exemptions for foundation? Right now, um, very simple. If you come from an accounting degree, uh, local or private university, uh, local university, private university, or international university, again, uh, we will actually look at your academic transcript. Once we look at the academic transcript, uh, usually most universities are almost the same. They don't run from the core subjects like, you know, uh, introduction to accounting, you know, business law. You don't really run away from those elements. So as long as those elements are fulfilled, you will be granted exemption from the foundation level. Now, if you would like to exactly know, you can go to our website. There will be a little... Uh, uh, what they call it, a drop-down list that says accredited course search. You can actually key in your university and see uh, the subjects that are listed there and you will actually know. And for those of you all who like to find out more, I see happily shared my mobile number with you. So please feel free to reach out to me. I'll be more than happy to assist you with that. Do we have any more? Do I need to purchase additional study textbook for CPA? No, no, no. Don't worry at all about that. You know, you don't have to go and look for past year papers. Uh, you don't have to refer to your seniors. You don't have to do all that. All you need to do is the study guide is given to you by CPA Australia, as I mentioned earlier. It will be sent directly from Australia to your post box. 
you have that. You have your online resources. You have your PDF copy. So you don't have to purchase anything extra. Just study within the framework that is given to you and you are good to go. So guys, don't try to purchase anything outside. Not necessary, right? And I don't think so. You can find anything much outside as well because it's very hard to find anything from CP Australia outside. <laughs> we, um, we protect our intellectual property very well. So there is no need for you all to buy anything, okay? Everything is given to you. Yeah, and not forgetting, if you join Summary Test for classes, what we include is actually two progress tests and one more exam. That yeah. is already good enough for you to practice, you know, to have Sorry. additional practice questions. Yeah, true. And of course, with the handouts and notes prepared by our lecturers, that they are also very helpful. Mm. Michelle? Um, well, you see my email down there. Please contact <laughs> me through email. So then um, we, from our side, we will actually send you the soft copy of the registration form so that you don't have to purposely make a trip <laughs> to uh, Sunway Campus because everything can do online. Payment through um, our Sunway e-payment portal and then uh, for the registration uh you know, you just need to email back the registration form together with all the attachments and all that. Yep. Mm. Everything is online these days. We just don't see people anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I did see a few of my colleagues only, you know. <laughs> all right, so how already. long will my assessment take? Uh, okay, uh, so we're actually in a very peak period and everybody is in the holiday mode. Um, but for CP Australia, our turnaround time is 10 business days. So from the day you submit your application, it is 10 business days. So 10 working days, right? So hopefully they will revert to you by then. Is there any fixed sequence of subjects that I should enroll? No, uh, as I explained earlier, the only restriction that is there is for the global strategy and leadership, which is the capstone paper. So for that capstone paper, you will at least need to complete the three core papers. That's all. Other than that, you can take an elective paper first. It's totally up to you. But for those of you all who are planning to join Sunway Test, please don't pull stunts. Find out from them first which are the sequence of papers that you can take. Michelle, am I right to say that? Correct. Because yeah. for full-time students, um, there are two different uh, options, which like we have mentioned earlier, the taking two papers option or taking three papers option. So taking two papers option, we have um, the, the suggested subject combination. It's different from uh, the three papers uh, subject combination. So do keep in, uh, you know, uh, 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 come and, uh, you know, uh, contact us uh, to understand how we actually will advise you on what are the subjects you should take um, before you enroll with CP Australia. Okay. So I think, um, do we have any more questions? I think that is all for tonight. So... For those of you all who have more questions, please feel free. You know, they have flashed out my email address with Michelle's email address. Please feel free to bug us, ask us any questions you want. We'll be here, although uh, some of us may be on leave, but uh, we are still available. Don't worry, anything to assist you. So um, I think that's all from my end. Michelle, do you have anything else? Yeah. No, that's, um, that's all from us tonight as well. Yeah. So have a good evening, everybody. Thank you, everyone. Um, Merry Christmas. Stay safe. Don't yeah. spread the virus. <laughs> Make sure you wash your hands, wear your mask, wash it as often as you can. Um, stay safe, everyone. Uh, happy holidays. Uh, hope to see some people next year if everything is fine. Yeah. Uh, stay tuned. Thank you so much again for joining in. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. Stay Merry safe. Christmas. Thank you, okay. everyone. Bye. 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 <laughs>